Hello and welcome to Coloring the Bible, Color Me Style, live from Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm super excited to be here uh, doing a shrink plastic tutorial. I don't know how deep I'll go or long I'll go, but it will be fun. I'm not sure if anybody has the plastic, but I tell you what, you could grab a piece of paper and a pair of scissors and colored pencil and work along with me with paper if you don't have plastic. And um, it'll be, you'll be right on with it. I'll show you all the different mediums that I do use with plastic. I will show you how to bake them, how they come out. I've been having tons of fun at home with all the different art. So I thought, yeah, let, you know what? Pay it forward, share the wealth, spread the love. So uh, I'm gonna, uh, also this is definitely uh, a great way to have fun with God's word and God. So it's a meditation on the word. So three, if you wanna grab your Bible, three scriptures we'll be uh, talking about today. And they are Psalm 119.11, Proverbs 6.21, and Matthew 6.21. 21. How interesting is that, huh? Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to showcase some stuff first so you'll get an idea of what's going on. Um, I constantly keep these with me all day long. In the last couple of months, last couple of years, I've been substitute teaching uh, when I'm not out teaching privately so I could pick up a job here and there. And I keep this handy dandy little portfolio thing here stapled together and I go and I have these pre-cut and I create on the pieces and some of these are done some of these aren't done all different shapes all different sizes and you'll see how these get this super small and super fun to wear all different colors Pick your outfit. There's one. So these are some that I have baked and are done. Believe it or not, this shrinks to this. It's a fakeable plastic. So let me show you some of these. And around it is God's word. I'll read this one too. Oh, where are my readers? Okay. This one says. Um, oh, these are just words. There's not a scripture on here. So love, hope, grace, peace, believe, love, press on, joy, and remember. This one says something about serve. I can't, oh, there it is. Mark 10, 43. Um, usually put it on here. The scripture reference. This looks like Ephesians 25. Ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless. Thy bread and thy water. Okay, so that's this one. I was at a school and she had this sticker there and that says Dutch mom. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, I did an event with Honor Health and Survivor Day. So it's got a lot of our ribbon ones. I love these. It has a little punch love through it. It's a little broken there, looks like. But oops. Um, this one, I like to write them around, but then lately I've been writing them right over. So this is, then everyone will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds with great power and glory, and he will send out uh, his angels to gather his chosen. Are you one of his chosen? I am. Super excited. Okay. Um, here's another. I have a punch, which I can punch through these hearts. You'll see in a little bit. Um, and this was super fun, too just the word love and I hit all the edges. So I'll show you how to cut the hearts. 
I'll show you how to bake, and I'll show you how, uh, what mediums that I use. Oh my gosh, I just have tons of plastic here. Uh, let me show you the punches, and then we'll get going. So this is a love punch with a small L. This is a love punch with a capital L. We've got three different types of hearts. Kind of, I think I only use one. We've got a large heart. Those were small hearts. This is so fun. It's love, uh, block lettered inside of a heart, and you'll see how that comes out. This has been so much fun for Arizona and cactus. All time favorite, a butterfly. This I haven't used yet in a piece, but it's an ampersand, maybe for a wedding. I'll do some names. Actually, I think I'm gonna get letters that punch out too. Okay, there's the ribbon, the survivor ribbon. And I'm so excited to do some unicorn birthday parties. Yeah, so fun. And I found ta -da, a punch, and this is a star to match this guy. And I also have heart punch. That was all I fun. I know. Who can play with plastic all their life and have fun with it? Yay. Okay, so this is a lot of fun too. It's three different types of butterflies, and they're smaller. So I've been able to punch two butterflies out side by side on one necklace. I haven't baked one of these yet, so I'm excited to do that. Um, and then other heart punches. That's a little smaller heart. I have a circle, two different circles, and then a larger heart. So I will show you how all these come out. And I will show you a couple of different mediums. You can create on your necklaces, or these can be back tack, uh, backpack tags uh, as well. So super versatile. I'll show you how I put the jump ring on, <clears throat> the necklace, and some beads. This is the right way. This is the right way. This is a love. Love, love, love. Okay. So first things first, let's turn down, I'll turn the camera so you can see my plastic and I'll show you how I start. The plastic comes in eight by 10 in size. Um, I may pick this up when I show you the medium too. We'll see. You gotta love selfie sticks. Okay, there we go. Get that just right. All right. So the first thing you want to do with your plastic is pick a corner. You make it so easy. Square sheets make it so easy, a rectangle. And you're simply going to cut and use the corner for the point. two right away and I'm going to show you how I can create before I punch and how I create after I punch. The magic of plastic, turn it around and I'm always cutting with my right hand to make it, um, to make it easier on the cutting process. You don't want to turn in in tight corners with plastic or the plastic will break. I just realized my music was off. I have some wonderful music by one of my favorite artists, Steve Swanson. 
He has three soaking CDs that I normally use only instrumentals when I'm doing art, so you really can hear the voice of the Lord when you're writing scripture. That is the huge blessing about this, is that when you're creating on anything, paper, plastic, and you're writing God's word ever so slow and ever so creative, you have to go slow. Uh, you want to spell everything right, you want to, you're not just scribbling, writing it, you're writing it slow, and all of a sudden, it can drip on you and give you guidance and wisdom. And it's so much fun. Okay, so back to plastic. So here we have two. And the simplest to do, well, let me go through the mediums a little bit on uh, a scrap piece of plastic. I always have tons of plastic available for scrap. Okay, so the first medium is um, your plain basic colored pencils. Any colored pencils, Crayola colored pencils, actually was able to grab some of these from England. They're super, they were sold actually from Italy um, and they were on offer up, so I grabbed, grabbed them and they're really buttery but light and smooth. Prismas are great too, but honestly, there are a lot of colored pencil. There's there's a lot of um, medium, that's what I'm trying to say, on here, and you'll see the difference. Then there's, um, all these are metallic, which help make your piece shine. And then this is uh, gel glitter gel pens. So when I put this on, it's a it's shiny and you don't need much of this to add a little hint of something same with these metallic so the prismas you see how dark that is that prisma let me come down a little bit plastic and then i'm going to use these that i just got it's a lot lighter. You don't need a lot of medium on these plastic pieces to make a huge impact. I also say give a three-year-old three colors that go together and let them have a happy mess on one. My favorite pieces that my kids, I love figure eight ones, that my kids used to do for me when they were super young Yes, I've been doing this for a long time. Is um, is the ones where they're like crazy and scribbling, but you've got three colors that go together. I'll try to demo that a little later. I have a video on that one actually. Okay, so are those all my mediums? Oh, let me showcase these. Are so fun. These are called uh, Tritone, and as I'm going through can't see on the yellow so much let's do a green as I'm going through and turning I'm getting all three greens let's see oh this is really good I'm getting green I'm getting light green and yellow so as I'm pulling this through the plastic look at that how cool is that I got three so uh, we've got gray red and orange and you need a little see that love these and just naturally they give an amazing touch to the plastic and then i will show you how i use my pen brush to the pen brush can go first or last and it just goes right over that um, if it's last it's easier because then you're not covering up all the the word or your your image and whatnot with with the colored pencil so, that's that. Oh, and I've used metallic crayon. Now crayon typically does not work on shrink plastic, but it covers a bigger area of metallic if you needed that. And I'll show you how it looks with a baked. I just baked a couple. This is the crayon. And 
when it first comes out, you will get some of this medium on, but qu it quickly dries. So what I like to do with this is I like to embellish some pieces. And let's say this loved one, which is a little uh, bare, it needs a little pop on it. Or here's another one I just did. That one looks like it might go perfect under that with the pink coming down out of the love. So what I do is I take a little gel crazy glue and I'll glue that right on there. And that'll be a piece. That one looks kind of fun. I could put two tiny hearts on the side too. Just depends. Uh, or I just did another, the cutout, another cutout love, which is that same love, but that's in the metallic a crayon. So that's a lot of fun too. Oh boy, a lot is going to go on here. Look at this one. This. Ta da! That one looks really nice too. It looks a little better than the bigger one. So, all right. So, please remember to share these, uh, this video with your friends and family. Um, if you share and uh, mention this video, my necklace kits, which are uh, Bitly HH heart necklace, it's in the comments. Um, you get a BOGO, you get two for one. The kits are only $5. And um, yeah, that would be super fun. All right, so let's create on one here. Let's do, Let's do, yeah, let's do, well, I usually do the lettering in that because it comes out nice and bright. And I love the way blue goes. So I usually just do hearts. And I'll pull out the ends because I like how they pattern. And you see, this is not too neat, right? And then maybe I'll go with some metallic and I have a blue metallic which I really really like or I could just go with this metallic this is blue and it's right here so now this on top of here you'll see when we're done when I bake this it'll make it shine a bit okay so it can be as simple as that. You don't have to do any more color. Or you can keep adding. So this one I'm gonna use, this is a Prisma. This other one was the, not as thick. Uh, maybe I wanna pattern out like this, simple. Just put a little color in there. And then maybe I'll pull this color down to this block. And again, not so hard and easy. Okay, there you go, that's one. I could do, pick in another color here. How about a lighter purple? Okay, so maybe I wanna follow that same design. Put a little color in there. And when I round this like that, it um, looks a little rounded. So if you curve your pencil, you're gonna give it a, a nice effect to that as well. So I'm going down, down, down. And then the last one, maybe I'll go a darker one of these, blue green. So that's out here. So you want to, it almost looks then like the necklace has a rounding to it. And then maybe I'll finish it off with this blue. Again, no rhyme or reason. And where does this one come in? That one doesn't come in, so. I can pull this color back out to here just to kind of keep it patterned a little bit. Okay. 
Now I want to go with my pen brush. And I'm going to pull out my scripture. Now I could do this and right now people need a lot of prayer. So if anybody needs some prayer, go ahead and put it in the comments. Even if it's after this video is closed out, I'll be checking in and I will pray for you. Um, and this could be a prayer necklace for somebody. Um, let's see. I'm going to go with... I'm going to choose the Matthew one first. Matthew... My glasses... So, Jesus teaches about money. Matthew 6, verse 21. I'll read this whole thing. Do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up yourselves treasure in heaven for where heaven, where neither moth nor dust, rust sorry, destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Here's where I, I want to put on the necklace. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also will be also. So it's good to hide his word in your heart, and that's what's going to come out. And then it goes on and on and on, but I, want to think I want to use that one. So I'm going to take and just start on this side of the necklace. And I don't want to go too close. It's a short one. I'm sure it'll fit. Sometimes I go all three and it, you use it all in, but I think this will fit here. So we're going to start with our quotes. For where your as you can see, I'm going I'm saying one word and writing one word. <laughs> this is how I learned so much scripture because I have to write it ever so slow because the left side of the brain is the words. The right side of the brain is creative and I'm doing two at the same time which is virtually impossible, really hard. But with God everything is possible but it's really hard to do. I will sometimes misspell things because I'm talking and I'm trying to write at the same time. <laughs> Uh, which is also hard, and I'll have to spell it out. Treasure, S U treasure, S U treasure is, comma. I love little hearts. You see this? Um, there, your heart will also be. So, see, I'm here. I am going to come up to here. I'm not even going to go in these areas because I know it will fit. Sometimes I do because the scripture I chose is really long, but this is short. So there your heart will also, will be also. Okay, so I'm going to start here and put there. Mm -hmm. will be also. End quote. And then I'm going to put my scripture reference in there. Matthew 6, verse 21. Matthew 6, verse 21. And sometimes I'll throw in my initials because they almost look very heart-like. <laughs> so it's fun. So I'll put a T L M somewhere in there. And then I'll take uh, you know, now I'm looking at this, this blue looks a little naked so I can I'm gonna put some of the sparkles on the outside coming out 
and then let me put my oven on because the oven has to be really warmed up. It has to be preheated, your oven, before you. bake. You want them to go fast so they don't stick together. I still wear gloves when baking. It's easy to pull them out and if it sticks together then I can help it out. All right so maybe there's some other ones. So here's a green which might kind of go along with this and make this a little shiny too because again there's not much color on this. But you'll see. Oopsie. All right. You'll see how it embellishes it. And then the purple. Oh my gosh, this is my, as you can see, I need a new stock of these. <laughs> this is my all time favorite metallic. And I lost one, I lost the blue one. So this is gonna go, ooh, look how rich that is. It's gonna go on the side of this one. And it's just gonna make it pop. That's it, although I really super love this one, so I think I'm gonna put a little bit right in the center here and make that go. All right, um, now, I'm not gonna punch this one because if I punch it, it will um, mess up the scripture. But I'll show you one that I punch and then I work the scripture around where I've punched it and all works together. So I bought a brand new, so that's the star. Here's a heart. The only problem is the hearts go in the wrong way. So maybe I'll do a side heart. So you're going to punch a heart in here. I'll try to get it as, you want to get it not too close to the edge, but not too far in because again, we're going to put a jump ring. Look how cute that is. I wish the heart was going that way so that it was facing all the same way, but all good. So there's my heart, and then it will hang just like that on the edge. All right, so let's see if my oven is ready. I take um, file folders and I just cut them out and they're nice and thick. They burn up eventually, but they're really great to have these lay flat. So let's look, see what this looks like. I'll bake some more things and maybe there are some ones here that I pre-made, pre-baked, which might look good on there. Oh look, those are almost the same colors. I'll put a couple on here to bake and you'll see how this comes out. There's another one that might go. Oh, didn't realize it, but that looks good too. All right, you don't want them touching. Again, they're gonna come really super small and I will move the camera over here for easy seeing. All right, so here's my oven. I think you could see from there. All right, hang on one sec. Let me put this in. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Hopefully you can see that bake and curl up. Look at them go. Oh my, that was fast. How cool is that? So you want them all laying flat and yeah, it doesn't look like any of them need my separating techniques. Ooh, it's getting a little hot, so this one burned up. Maybe I had the oven a little too hot, but let me put that there. And you want them to lay flat, so I'm gonna press on this. Let me move some stuff out of the way. I wanna press these flat because if I don't, 
then they're not they're gonna have a hard time laying flat on my necklace if I put it on the necklace you'll see this got a little rounded but let's see how this goes and they should pop off yeah, that looks pretty good and does it lay flat looks like it's laying pretty flat And it's a little shiny on the outside. There's another one. Well, there's a really big open space around here that won't cover the scripture up. And it go and the colors almost match exactly. This isn't God good. I did these last night while I was just hanging out. And that looks like it would match pretty cool. Here's one that I did. This looks like it got really banged in. Oh, here we go. Well, that wouldn't look, that would really cover up a lot, but some of the rings could go around like that. I don't like that one. Here's a here's one, but that looks a little too big. This looks like the winner. That looks pretty neat. It has some green in there. It's not the exact same color green, but hey, it's all good. Let's see what this looks like. That's a little too big, I think. And then I put a bead and a jump ring in there. And you have a healing heart necklace. Yeah, don't forget to share this video if you don't mind and invite your friends and family. I also, uh, in the comments you'll see I have a um, uh, birthday party to go and it's a virtual birthday party. So get all your friends on Hangout and have a nice time and everybody can make their own necklace and everybody gets a piece of art um, gets given to them uh, wherever they are since we have to stay without our community without our tribe right now which is I know is super hard super hard for me because I'm super social um, all right so let's uh, let me show you how I get this on here pretty simply just a little gel on the back side and wherever you want it, you place it. And it can even go off a little bit. This looks kind of like it hanging off the edge a little tiny bit. Yes. And there's a little extra glue there. So I will take a toothpick. We have some hanging around. Here we go. Take a toothpick and just clean it up a little bit. I'm just going to wipe that off. And I'll seal these. It's still moving around a lot. It, it um, Maybe I put a little too much gel on there, but it's going to get really, really hard and not move around at all pretty soon. Put gel on there. Just wipe some of that extra glue off. I guess you didn't need that much glue. Here's that little heart. Oh my goodness. The little jump, the little um, hole punch heart. Which for some reason looks bigger, looks smaller than my hole punch, but it's not. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. And then I cover this with a spray, or really even some I've used um, clear nail polish. Um, so there you are, healing heart necklace. Yahoo! All right, so let's do another one, another scripture where I punch.
Okay, so let's try, let's do, let's do the unicorn. So I'm going to just put it in here, and on the back I can kind of see where this is going to go. So I, I know how far from the edge is, and I don't want him totally down, so I kind of pull him back a little bit from the edge. But you don't want to cut too far on the edge, and you just punch and there you are this and my <laughs> my star is either in here or it went somewhere the star is around here somewhere no worries I can always do another one and use that star Here's a star. All right. Let me just straighten out. So I work on this one. And if I, I just have to show you the love too. This love is so amazing. You kind of have to work on getting it out though. And maybe I can incorporate this love punch on the, um, the unicorn. So I'm going to punch it. I was going to show you, but I'm going to punch it straight down. I need some more than this one. There we go. These are not built for plastic, so some of them are a little tricky to get. And I use a palette knife. And there it is. Here's my low on this side, which I can cut around and actually use that. And my love on this side. Is still inside. Sometimes it gets stuck inside. Well, I have one punched anyway. Maybe it flew. These things kind of fly out sometimes. So they're a little tricky. There's one I pre cut. There you go. That's what it will look like. And then this one too, that other one, this is how this looks like. And believe it or not, I bake those little tiny, tiny holes that come out. They're a little challenging. Um, so I can use a whole bunch of different things on here. So, um, using my favorite purple. So we can just go with rings of hearts all over the place. And then maybe I can get my scripture around The unicorn. All right, so you're just going to use your favorite mediums, your favorite colors. Listen to your favorite music. And you build, you build on each piece. I think I want some a little bit darker. Make that light blue pop a little bit. And you see how loose I'm being? It doesn't have to be perfect. It's, you're just having fun. Remember, these things are going to shrink up something fierce. And you're just having fun with it. And you don't have to cover every nook and cranny because it's... Um, you just don't have to. The, sh the plastic shrinks an awful lot. Let's get another. Uh, 
let's get some green in here. And then maybe I can connect these. Parts. And again, I'm using that rounded effect. Outside here. Building, building, building on that same color. And I like this green. And I like the pink. Let's go back to my pink. And fill that in a little bit. So I actually do these for people. I got a huge order for Christmas, uh, some custom ones that I did for a young lady. She wanted to give them out. So you can order one that I do for you or do your own. I'm here to inspire you to get creative. You know, let me show you what this looks like too. Let me pull in this blue inside here. Just a little bit of sparkly inside each heart. So this is gonna pull this blue into the center of this all this pink heart. And they're getting down low, so I probably have to order more of these, too. Okay. Now maybe pulling back up a pink into the blue. Do I have a pink over here? I do. So I have a pink, and I'm going to sparkle out the middle of the blue. There we go. This could use a little more blue down here. So it just gives the hint of color. Then this pink that I used, I can pull back out to the edges to then pull that color back out. And I can do it in a different shape and work around. the unicorn like so. Okay. That looks a little empty. I can pull back another section there. I can pull this through the other side of the heart. And then I really like the way that pink looks. So then I'm going to pull this pink out into this squiggle of metallic pink. There you go. Now for my scripture. This is a good one for your children. Because it is Proverbs 6, Proverbs 6, 21. My son, keep your father's commandments, son or daughter, and do not forsake the law of your mother. Bind them continually upon your heart, tie them around your neck. So I thought this was appropriate because we're using these as a necklace and we're tying them around our neck and it helps your children listen, obey, have fun, realize, oh, it's a really good idea if I obey you, mom and dad. And if mom and dad are following the word and God, it, it's all this trickle-down effect. All right, so let me get my pen brush.
I can put it start go all the way around the unicorn. Bind them continually. them around your neck. It's a great way to learn scripture yourself and with your children. Tie them around your neck. So there's the scripture. We still have this horsey. Now, we could take this horsey and also put color on it and put it back on here somewhere. Whichever you want to do. Or, and of course we can put the hearts, the stars down there, but we could put another star up there. Maybe we'll color that the pink. And the love, we can put the love somewhere around here. Okay, um, and then we have to get the scripture reference on here. So the scripture reference is Proverbs six twenty one. So maybe I'll just write it right in. Uh, well, that's going to be really super small. Well, maybe it'll work. Okay. So what if I did this? Did it pink first? and not on the blue, so let me, let's do it blue. And I'm just going to color this love. I'm offering all my classes that I have on my workshops link uh, virtually. So if you book a class, can be on Zoom. Uh, we can work together on any one of my topics. Or if you see something that you you want to learn, you don't see it on my website, uh, just let me know. I can create a class. Pretty much teach almost anything. I took uh, a portrait drawing class last year, and there's a ton of great hacks and things you can do to learn how to draw and draw well. Everybody can draw. It's not just for certain people. I'll be doing a TED talk in a couple of months. Probably got a little delayed from this. But it's about kind of about that and um, helping people find the artist within. All right, so there are my pieces. I'm going to take a new sheet. That one all got burnt up. All right, let me put these on. Let me put the last couple ones to bake on here. So here's what I have to bake. Uh, I guess I could... Well, I'm going to wait with the pony since I'm not uh, using that. The unicorn. I keep wanting to say pony. <laughs> oh, can't forget my hole. 
we're going to use a star. And this one will be straight on in the corner. Again, not too close to the center, but not too far away from the side, so we can get a jump ring in there. How cute is that? All right, so let's just see this bake again. My oven is preheated. There we go. never gets old to see shrink plastic shrink. It is so much fun. Really, when you give the birthday party or give birthday parties, the kids line up and they get a kick out of this whole part. Look, look, it's shrunk, it's shrunk. It's so awesome. There you go, almost there. That one looks like it is a little sticking. Surface. The star made it. How cool is that? show you the jump rings and I'll put those pieces on. I have tools. The tools I have to hold these are some jewelry pieces. Right. So again we're going to let's see where this would look nice. Kind of like it right there. And my star. There's a star there, a star there, and do I want the star on that side? Have a star on both sides and then the love right there. I kind of like that. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit of the glue. I won't use as much glue. And I use this so I don't get this crazy glue all over, all over me. Just put a dot on the back of there. Get that out to stay. There. And I'll put some on the, put just a little bit on the back of the love. to share this video with your friends and family. If you order a necklace kit, you get a BOGO. And I know a lot of people need some virtual stuff to do right now. I'm going to be doing my classes. Alright, 
So I usually do spray these, but I want to show you how I do um, these on a jump ring. And I and I tend to like to match. Oh, that one looks really cool. Something on here with the bead that I use. So, I'm going to put this bead on the jump ring, and then put the jump ring through the star. It has to be open a tiny bit more. Sometimes I'll put two on. Sometimes I'll put one on. And you gotta meet the jump ring exactly where yeah. it hits. And then you get your handy dandy necklace and put it on. I change these a lot so I like to slip on and off. The, um, the necklace. And the necklace that I found is at Michael's and they're really awesome. I just cut this little ball piece off. And this still claps, clasps around that. And I just drop this through. And there you have a fully finished Healing Heart necklace. Unicorn style, yay! So super fun. They're a blast for a party. Now, for the youngers, um, what I'll usually do is um, I'll do a uh, two holes and a jaw stretch string. I'll show you that too. Yeah, that's the one. So I'll put whatever sort of uh, punch you want through it and then put a heart on and this string bead and then the knot so the knot and the bead hold the necklace on and this stretch string stretches right over your head so that's one I have a couple of different styles style it's a um, triangle again the butterflies in there I embellished that butterfly back right on there and this stretches right over your head this is much better for a kids party um, and there you go there you have the different style of necklace so that was uh, shrink plastic at its best. I love shrink plastic. I never get tired of, of playing with shrink plastic, no matter how old you get. <laughs> Yay! So thank you so much for signing on. Please share this video um, with your friends and family. Again, you get a BOGO by doing that. You know, order a kit or a birthday party package virtual now because that seems to be a hot spot lately, and hopefully not for long. So I'm gonna be doing virtual classes. I'll pop on like this every once in a while, and I will actually make, um, make an event and give people prior notice and what art supplies to have so we can all work together at home on, um, on a piece. So uh, 
Art ministry is coming up the second Tuesday of every month. So that's April. I don't have the calendar right in front of me, but that's in April. Second Tuesday, 6.30 to 8.30. And uh, I'll post that and we can get create together. So I want to pray for everybody. Thank you so much, Father, in the name of Jesus, for bringing people here today to, um, or in the future, to do this tutorial with me. And if you do it in the future, uh, just grab some supplies. I'll put the supplies in the comments and have a lot of fun with this. Thank you that each and every person finds the artist in themselves. Know that each and every person is a snowflake. They have a unique gifting from you. And the way to find that out is to get with you. Get, get with the blueprint. You're the blue. Get with the creator of the blueprint, you. And um, just have a blast and know that your plan is perfect. He created you, so your, your plan isn't mine. And it's not another person's. It's specifically for you and you alone. So embrace that. Have fun with that. Um, it's, it is a pleasure to have jumped ship a long time ago and to explore my natural talents and God-given abilities. Did I know what I was doing? Did I fall on my face many, many, many times? Yes. Did I get back up again? I think that's a song. Got down, get back up again. So anyway, I love you all. God bless you. Thank you for signing on and keep creating every single day. Bye for now.